a season that was 23-24. 16 cars for this 15-lap finale. This is also the final round of the Legend Card WA Series. Nathan Brennan and Ken Melvin will be your front row. And I'd suggest, without knowing the points, Nathan Brennan to be right up there. Just comfortably up there anyway. 15 starters. We are missing one. But a great field of legend cars. All about set to go. 15 laps. Nathan Brennan, Ken Melvin, row number one. We're called by myself in this open up. Well, finale, I should say, the legend cars. We're three wide already for third place. It was a great start from Zoe Eason to get into the runner-up position, getting by Wahone and Colin Metcalf, who's falling back quickly through the field. A horrible start for car number 89. Eason, the one on the charge, but we're all chasing Nathan Brennan after one. Ron and Lark for Colin Metcalf, who actually took two victories tonight but his feature race will end after one completed lap he started on that second row and sadly that is all the battles for second place between Melvin, Eason Wahone and Kim Williams, car number 32 Williams has been very impressive tonight Wahone goes underneath of Zoe Eason for third place, Kenny Melvin in second and beaches it Yellow lights come on. From chocolates to board lollies for Ken Melvin. And he parks it where a few have parked it tonight so far. On the verge over there. And will be pushed back onto the racetrack. So two down and 13 to go. They come into the main straight. The green lights will come back on now. And away we go. As they move down into turn number one, it is car number eight who leads Nathan Brennan. Down the back straight from Eason. Way home in third place. Fourth place is that of Kimmy Williams. And then back to the 17 of Travis Gould. Down the main straight they come. Nathan Brennan, your leader. Leads from the 23 of Eason. Way home having his best run for a while in the 11 car. Back in fourth place, Travis Gould. Sorry, Kim Williams then, Travis Gould. Brendan Radford ran wide, and that's allowed Stephen Barrow back into the picture. So they come into the main straight, four down. It's all going to be Nathan Brennan, but how impressive has Zoe Eason been tonight? 23 has been on song and currently runs in second place, showing Wahone a clean pair of heels at the moment in these opening four laps and they're not allowing Nathan Brennan to run away with it as of yet. So Eason, Wahone, Williams, Ben Boyd could have something to say. It's Melvin already has gotten by two cars as Nichols and Ricky Lee Beard are the next two just ahead of him. As I already said, went from Chocolates to Boyd Lottelys. Radford's actually the quickest car on track. Driver sitting in sixth place at the moment. As we've completed six so far, the race is on for second place. It's the way home goes underneath of Eason, and uh, Eason fights back, holds on to second, way home back in third, back in fourth place, Kimmy Williams, then Travis Gould. Here comes our race leader, though, the, seven, the eight of Nathan Brennan. Moves down the main straight. Eason, way home, the 17 of Gould, right there with Radford. And Kimmy Williams. Williams goes back to fifth. So run down the back straight. Eason of Wyhone. Someone's going to have to yield as they come up around the outside of the three car of Baron Cax. We've done eight. And the eight of Nathan Brennan leads. And we've now hit that halfway mark in his feature race. And definitely going to be no catching. Nathan Brennan. From here on in, he's got this one sewn up. But second place has really got in interesting. As Eason, Wyhone, a three astern with Travis Gould. As they go across the line, Wyhone shunts it all on Gould, who tried to go onto the inside of both the 11 and the 23. As Wyhone, a good move to the inside, takes over second spot.
Oops, trouble. Trouble for the back airs or crunch. Uh, we've lost a wheel on Kimmy Williams, who hit Zoe Eason. It was collateral damage. And the tow truck will be on its way. Yeah, it was between Zoe Eason and the 17 of Travis Gould. And Kim Williams come through and uh, lost a wheel. Travis Gould has been disqualified from the event, but he is well and truly out of this one as he's needing the tow truck. The two-time former West Australian champion. Travis Gould won both of his here in Collie. Legend Car West Australian title will be held in January in 2025. It'll be a week after the national title will be held in Bunbury. Zoe Eason will actually be in second place. She's very trigger happy. So behind the rest of the field should line up Brennan Wyhone. Or in fact, it'll be Brennan, Eason, Wyhone, Williams, Radford, Barrett. In fact, Williams is out, so it'll be Radford now to fourth. Fifth place will be Barrow. Then it's Ben Boyd, Ricky Lee, Beard, Ken Melvin up to eighth place. Phil Nichols, Greg Joss, Cody Roberts, and Bernard Cax in car number three. So we've still got some debris out on track. And we've now got three legend cars on the infield. We didn't have Marnie Dixon take the start. Obviously... That hint of the concrete wall in that last qualifier was her demise. Oh. It's good when some of your mates are Frio supporters. Probably not after the last two weeks they had. Oh, look at where we've got the flag now. That's waving high and mighty in turn number one. I don't think we had it this high up. Was that even the Australian flag? Every show. Nine laps completed. That's not it's the Mills Waiho supporters in turn one. Currently sitting in third place is car number 11 behind Zoe Eason and Nathan Brennan. Six laps still to go in your legend car feature. Brendan Radford has all lies on the top side of the racetrack when he has to get the little legend wound up before he starts to lay the attackers. The top four clear away from Barrow. Then it's Ben Boyd, Ricky Lee Beard and Ken Melvin, but 10 laps completed, five to go, Jason. Great one going on for the minor places. Yeah, Wyhone into second. Eason back to third, Radford ran wide. Barrow there in fifth place, and back then to Ben Boyd. Now, race leader giving it absolutely everything. Nathan Brennan. New quick lap of the race, a 21.081. He's going as quick as the productions in the street stock. There's Nathan Brennan in the little uh, black car. Can't say black station wagon anymore, because it's not. It's a little coupe, a little coupe. He's got three to go. It definitely does, as he's got himself sorted. For another round win here in Collie, has Nathan Brennan, while Issa trying her best to hold off on Brendan Radford and Stephen Barrow. Looks to wrap up the Inex series points here in WA while Nathan Brennan trying to win the legend car points as there's been a pass further back in the field. Ken Melvin getting to the inside of Ricky Lee Beard for seventh place, but it's all really for naught at the moment as there'll be one lap to go for Nathan Brennan. Comes into the main straight to get the white flag. Wyhone giving great chase. Eason, Radford, and back then to Stephen Barrow. That's the first five. Down the back straight, the final time. 
Pajanska, the ladies and gentlemen, has been the dominant driver in Western Australia this season. Nathan Brennan first across the line. Lyhone in second. Back in third, Zoe Easton, then Radford and Barrow. Boyd will be next, then Kenny Melvin. Ricky Lee Beard, Phil Nichols. Then back to the 69er, Greg Joss, Cody Roberts. And our leader spins himself out and then nearly bogs himself on the kerb in all the excitement. But he's the winner, Nathan Brennan from Mills, Wyhone and Zoe Eason, your top three. Put your hands together here in the main straight for car number eight. Nathan Brennan, who wins tonight's main event for the Legend Cars. As we said, next year their national title is here. We've already seen a Queenslander and the Australian champion here. Oh, look at him go over there in front of the uh, corporates. They can't see him, unfortunately, because <laughs> he's so far up near the fence. And the cars are so small, but uh, did a nice big donut up, up there. And I hope that Nathan Brennan sticks with Legend Cars next year. There's rumour that he won't be, but let's hope that he does, because he's a great driver in this category and be a good chance of winning the Aussie title next year.